This lesson, we're going to be using values of quantity and price. First, we're going to calculate out the subtotals, so multiplying column B by C. And then we're going to also be creating a customized formula for the total cost output and showing you how you can have a customized string value that's being returned back for the total cost of the items. So this is an example of a simple formula that you can use in order to calculate the total cost. In this example, we're going to be creating some customized formulas within Google Sheets in order to make some calculations. So regardless of the costs and then the total costs. So showing you how you can do those and apply those within your sheets. And you can customize those formulas as needed. So go open up, go into your drive, create a brand new sheet. Under Sheets, you can populate some data here. So I do have several different columns. I've got A, where I've got the items listed, B, where I've got the quantity, C, where I've got the price. And then I'm going to calculate the, to the cost here. So these are going to be subtotals. And then the total cost that is going to be in the end formula that we're going to be creating. And that's going to be listed down here at the bottom. So under Extensions, select App Script. And this is where you can create your customized formula. So let's start by creating a function. And within this function, let's call it uh, calculate sub. And this is going to be getting the subtotal. So it's going to be the item value and then the quantity of items. And we're going to simply just multiply this out. So let's take, uh, and we're going to select out the value. And we want to just return back this one value. So essentially, this is going to be the quantity by the price. And actually, let me just update this. So we'll get the, the price and the quantity. So we're going to have those two values there. And then we're going to simply output the cost here in column D. So let's uh, make that calculation. And we can do that where we set up a variable. Let's call it total. So this is the value that we're going to be returning back within the cell that's going to be calling for the formula. So just return that value back. And then we want to make the calculation here. So let's add this function in order to add the customized function within the sheets. So you select the cell that you want to add it into, do the equal sign, and then add in the customized function name. And then we need to update and fill out what we've got for price. So the price is going to be a value of 10 in this case, coming from column C, item number 2. So that just populated it there. You can also manually enter that in. And then for the quantity, let's set this value here as the quantity. So select the value for quantity, and that's going to be coming from B2. Press the equal sign, and this is going to be getting our total. So right now, it's just simply returning back 0. So let's drag that down, and it's going to be applied then for C3 and B3. And now let's do the calculation. So let's. Uh, just simply take the those values and the total is actually going to be the value of price multiplied by the quantity. So it's a very simple value here. We're being returned back. And we can also take this value and just simply do a return. So we don't even need the variable name. So just to really simplify what the output is. So that's our costs there. And we want to create a little bit more of a complex formula here where we can output the value that we've got for the costs. So let's select out and get the items and get the quantity and the price so we can make a total calculation for that. So we'll set up another function and we can call this one the total costs. And it's going to take in the three parameters. So it's going to have the quantity and I'll just update that to match and then the prices that we're going to be dealing with. So these are going to be as multiple items because these are going to be the ranges that we're going to be selecting as opposed to here we were just using the cell values. So let's start by setting up a value for total cost and set that to be zero. And then this is also what we're going to be returning at the end. And we're going to be applying the calculations in between where we're going to loop through the number of items that we have. So using just a regular for loop, let the value of i equal 0. And then while i is less than the number of items that we have, and it's got the length property as a typical array, so incrementing it by 1. 
then we want to calculate the cost. So the cost is going to be the value of the quantity using its index value as we're looping through and multiplying it by the prices and just using the index value as well. So that's going to be getting a value for cost. And then the total cost is just going to be adding to the total cost, whatever we got the value for cost. So let's uh, see what we've got here and select. And remember, these are going to be ranges. So it's going to be slightly different where we're going to add in the number of items. And that's going to be an array of items. So adding in that range. And then we've got the quantities. So we want to match the range values there um, as we've got a loop going on. And then we want to match in the price values there. So what that's totaling is, is basically the same total that we've got here, except it's just doing it in a different type of formula. If you needed to add in like tax or whatever, you could add that in as well. Uh, you don't have to have the items one, but if you want to list them out, uh, the number of items, or if you want to have those somehow listed out as a string value, you can do that as well. So let's add in and we'll just have a value called output. So this can be a string value. And here we can add and concatenate to the list of the values. So for output, and as we're iterating through, we're going to add to the string value. And I'm going to use the backticks, which are the template literals. So it gives us a little bit more functionality when we're constructing the string values. So here we've got the items and whatever the index value is and then whatever we've got for the quantities. And we can have a string value that will be something like output. So that way we can have a customized returned string value there as well. And we can just do a merge of the cells. So now it's outputting that item one times five, item two times three, item three times two, total cost is 135. And we can also customize this a little bit as well with a dollar sign if we needed to. So that would update the string output that we've got. So you can customize the formulas as needed in order to create the output as desired.